Goodbye, old friend. You served me well. Hey man, stop. What are you doing? Who are you? I'm your future self telling you that you can possibly save that SSD. But not in this timeline. You're telling me I can save that SSD? Oh, this has to be good. I do not know why I came here, but there must be a reason. So I'm going to travel even back further to try and save your SSD. And why are you putting that in the trash? That should go to the recycling center. I'll be back. He was me from the future, coming to tell me we can save that SSD. Oh, I can't wait to see this. Hey guys, this is Budget Gaming HD from the future bringing you 5 tips as fast as possible on keeping your SSD safe and not dying. Tip number 1. Heat. Heat is a common contributing factor to dying SSDs. And by heat, I mean overheating your system. So please make sure you've got enough fans in your chassis. As a rule of thumb, I always say more out than in. Tip number 2. Don't overutilize your drive. And by that I mean don't copy unnecessary big files. Remember SSD uses NAND storage and that it has a limiting factor to a certain amount of read and write. You can find that on a manufacturing website here. I would say as a tip to copy all your big files onto an external drive. Do not leave it on your SSD. Tip number three, I can strongly advise you to connect to your UPS. And if you don't have enough cash, please connect your PC to a search protector plug like this. Tip number four, speaking of UPS, a UPS is vital to keeping an SSD safe in power cuts. The last thing you want to do is save an Excel file and a power cut happens, or any file for that matter. This can lead to your SSD crashing or dying or even losing your files completely. Tip number five, please make use of SSD health checks. And by SSD health checks, I mean using third-party software that you trust or software included in the SSD. Normally it's smart reporting, but smart reporting doesn't come with all SSDs as this is form factor dependent or manufacturer dependent. M2s and other form factors have got smart reporting built in. However, you can make use of hardware monitor, CPU ID, so on and so forth. Please also check the manufacturing website for software that you can use on your SSD. Being proactive, this can identify problems like lifespan, read write errors, overheating, there's many more. So please be proactive and save your SSD. Now guys, I have to get back to my time, but I hope this five tips have helped.